What is up? In this tutorial we're going to be going over spry validation of checkboxes. First thing we're going to do is click on spry validation checkbox over here to the left. And I'm going to give it an ID of checkbox1 and a label of checkbox1 also. And I realize I should probably name these something that is, is relevant to whatever we're going to be selecting but for this example I'm just gonna call it this so you guys can see which checkbox is which in the code so there we go it inserted our label and our input for us for one checkbox and for this example we're gonna wanna check out more than one checkbox so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this label right here and underneath it I am going to paste it in. And I'm doing this because I'm creating extra checkboxes to go inside of our checkbox group. And whenever we do that, we want to change the name of our checkbox to something unique, uh, something different from the one before. And I'm just going to replace the number one with the number two. And I'm going to do the same thing one more time so we have three different checkboxes inside of our checkbox group and I'm going to change the two to a three and as you can see right here um, what this is doing is actually creating a validation making sure that the user has selected something on submit so you can see that this is the message that is going to be presented to the user if they have not selected something out of these three checkboxes. So I'm going to go ahead and run this so we can check it out. There we go. So I'm going to click submit and I expect to get an error. There we go. Please make a selection. So check it and it allows us to submit. So let's go back and uh, look at our options here for the Spry checkbox. We have uh, required single. Um, we also have enforce range, which uh, enforces multiple checkboxes to be selected. So you can say um, that they have to select either one or two and the max they can select would be either three or two depending on what you want so basically what enforce range means is uh, they have to select a certain amount of checkboxes inside of this spry checkbox one inside of this span right here they're gonna have to select multiple if we set it that way so that is it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to be going over Spry Select. And make sure that you guys subscribe and keep checking out these tutorials. Um, after, after the next one, we are going to go over a few more Spry validation techniques. And then we're going to move on to add everything up in one large forms tutorial. Uh, we're going to be creating an uh, actual real usable form uh, using everything that we've gone over in the past 15 to 20 tutorials so make sure you guys keep watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial